Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be kind of like a first impression slash review video. I'm going to be trying out this new mascara from Rimmel. This is what it looks like. It is called the Shake It Fresh Mascara. Um, you're supposed to kind of like shake it and then it's not going to clump and it's going to give you volume without clumps. So sounds really good to be true. Um, so hopefully it ends up working out. But yeah, before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to my video down below. This summer I'm going to be doing three videos a week, which is, you know, just awesome. And also follow me on my social medias. I am on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Oh, and Facebook. And they are Emily underscore Freibler. So yeah, look me up on there. I'm really active on those platforms as well. Let's get started with this review. I love mascaras and I love trying new ones out. So let's get started. Okay, first I'm just going to kind of tell you guys like the claims of this mascara. So I got mine in Extreme Black and it is a clump-free volume mascara, uh, like I said before, and it is called Shake It Fresh. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's kind of like a grayish green tube with like neon green writing and stuff like that. Um, so I guess you're supposed to like shake out the clumps or something like that. You know how mascaras kind of get clumpy over time and things like that. Um, it says it is the first time market shaker system inside the mascara that refreshes the formula when needed to help prevent it from drying out. Um, it is ultra smooth, clump free volume from first to last use, which sounds great. It gives you a beautiful fan of lashes with maximum separation from, from corner to corner, which sounds great again. So I'm going to open this bad boy up. Um, I believe, I don't know how much this was. I will leave it on the screen right here how much this mascara was. I got mine at Rite Aid and I did have a $2 off coupon that was just like kind of laying on the counter. So if you see one of those from the displays, it was off of any Rimmel item. So I decided to use it on this. This is actually really heavy. I don't know if it's from the shaker or what I'm going to try. Oh, at first I thought it was defective or something because it wasn't shaking. But do you guys hear this? So there must be some something in there. I don't know. It says it on the tube too to shake it, to refresh it when needed, prevents it from drying out. So that's weird. It's kind of like the shake weight, you know? Okay, that's <laughs> probably shouldn't do that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, for let's look at the wand real quick. This is kind of like cool packaging. I dig it. I dig it. Okay, so this is the wand. It's a standard wand for like a volumizing mascara. Nothing too fancy when the, in the wand department. Like I said, this thing is heavy because of the shaker, which is kind of weird for a mascara. Usually they're really light, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes because I always curl my lashes. So I'm just giving this mascara kind of a fair chance in my book, you know. So let me pull my, my mirror close. And then I'm going to zoom you guys really close so you guys can kind of hopefully see my lashes before I put on mascara and then after as well. Okay, so these are my lashes right now before I put anything on them, obviously. Here goes nothing. So shake this bad boy up. It obviously shouldn't be clumpy because it's like the first use. Um, so, yeah. So far, so good. Does not look clumpy or anything. And it's coating the lashes nicely. So I'm gonna leave that one at that, go to this one, and then I'll go in and apply a second coat. Okay, so that's one coat on my lashes so far. I do think it looks okay right now. Um, it's nothing too special or anything, but we'll wait until we do a second coat. It did not clump yet, so that's a plus. Another thing I noticed, when I take it out of the tube, it's not very suction-y, if that makes sense. Like, it, it's more of a liquidy consistency of a mascara, so keep that in mind. I do like the brush because I do, like, these are my favorite types of brushes anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's so far. Let's try a second coat and see how it goes. This la these lashes like totally lost their curl. Like what? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, they're like not even curled anymore. Great, 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 okay. Maybe that's because it's so like liquidy of a consistency. I don't really know. It looks like my lashes just fell so far. Like what the heck? Okay, let's try lower lashes, see if I like it for that purpose. Like seriously, this is so disappointing. I mean, I was like, oh yeah, my lashes are curling great today. And then look at this. Like it doesn't look awful, but it doesn't look that great at all. Ah! Arr, that's annoying. All right, you guys, as you could see, the mascara just made my lashes lose their curl so, so much. Like my lashes are barely curled right now. It did like coat the lashes great and it did not clump whatsoever, which is awesome but it didn't give me the volume that I wanted and keep my lashes curled. When I want a volume mascara, I want to be able to see my lashes and with this one, they just fell so much that it didn't even look like they were volumized or like curled at all. So it kind of defeated the purpose of having like nice, nice big looking lashes because you can't even see them. They're like straight like this. So I'm going to say pass on this mascara. I think it's a little bit gimmicky, like shake it to freshen it up, you know. But I thought I'd try it out for you guys. So if you do see this, I would, like I said, pass. There are a lot of other great drugstore mascaras that I do love. So I would check out like a CoverGirl mascara, the Super Sizer or something like that instead of this to get great volume so i hope you guys liked this little try it out video if you did please give this video a thumbs up it really helps out my channel please subscribe to my channel down below to get notified when i post new videos thank you guys again so much for watching and i'll see you guys in a video very very soon bye